Yeah, good morning. We're back out here on the trail. We have a special guest today. Some of you may recognize her. I should Con look around the tree, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Connie Willis from Bigfoot Friday, Blue Rock Talk. Blue Rock Talk, hey Blue Rockers. Listen, I'm out with Sasquatch Journey, the real deal. Um, they like to keep it on the low down, which I think is the best way to do it too. It keeps your area and your hot spot uh, on the low down as well. But I'm telling you, I haven't hiked in a while. I'm a little <laughs> out of shape, but man, I'm telling you the Rockies, it's a whole nother world. Those of you back south and even Northwest, um, Pacific Northwest, it's very different for sure. Um, and the snow is deep as well. Um, and on a warm, hot day where we're, we can get a tan with the sun. But I've already stopped a few times, got the parka on the waist. I'm exhausted. These folks are killing me already. <laughs> and I had my camera out originally, and you'll see some of that stuff. But I, I had to just put it up so I could enjoy it because everywhere you look, there's a structure. Everywhere you look, there's a different structure, a decoration of the stumps, which I love that they call it decorating. I think that's cool. It's the first time I heard it with them. And uh, I think that's appropriate. And we're now in the lumber yard, so uh, I know you've already heard about that before because I have on Sasquatch Journey, but that's where I got a walking stick. We asked permission for it, and uh, Tony found that for me. Might end up getting another one because let me tell you, the incline really is an incline, and uh, you're gonna see me on the back of Ingrid's camera doing some funny things too. <laughs> Do you hear that wood knock? There was just a knock right up there. I heard it too. Yeah, we're at about 10,000 feet right here. They're with so, us. And we felt that they're uh, paralleling us since we walked into the forest. And uh, we're gonna show Connie around to uh, some good structure. The lumber yards, the pine cone foot lockers, and the teepee. Okay, and, and you know, when I first got here too, I felt something up this way, that's where and I told them and they said, yep, that's where they felt it too. So that's excellent feedback for all of us. So, all right, Blue Rockers. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs> oh, the trail. I love the trail. All right, guys, we're back. We're over at our gifting area. And uh, we're up at our gifting site, have to ask her. there's our rocks. I'm sure she'll tell us she that up there, we feel Mama's at. That's in the one video earlier in the season where Ingrid had the sighting. She saw the black flash. Yeah, and mind sure. speak here. Uh, it's just beautiful. All three of us right now are feeling that peace. A little bit of a stagger on the way to the cathedral. Connie yeah. is in the teepee. Because it does feel like that. It really does have a feel to it. And I do agree that you know, there's some that are old and abandoned and uh, you don't feel anything. But this one you sure do. And it's interesting because the other one uh, that they said that they felt was, was just old. I didn't feel anything in it. But this one where they believe that oh, they've, they've seen it going up and changing and they feel the aliveness, so do I. And I think you all may have said that ahead of time, but I, I wasn't doing it because that's what they said. I'm not gonna do that, I don't need to fool myself. Uh, I definitely feel it too. And that's great feedback for all of us, you know, that we're all in the same boat here, <laughs> for sure. Be sure to tune in to Sasquatch Journey. Doing a 360 pan here. Okay. If, uh, if anybody out there sees anything through the trees that we're not catching, there's our gifting site right there. Uh, I can already tell that uh, our gifts are gone. We left some apples and some more of those shoestrings, bootlaces that they re-gifted us back. Uh, see the structure up the hill now if you remember right from the other videos that we've done this area right here there was some new structure put up at the end of summer well that structure has gone well, that's them laying down on the ground right there but 
up the hill. There's new structure going on up the hill. Looks like a partial TP up there. Uh, we've been given permission to go up on this side, just not the other side. So uh, after we get done with our gifting here, got some garlic we're going to leave, some apples. If we find anything else, we'll come back on. What? See ya. All righty, we're back at our gifting spot. I love that little structure. Our right gifting there. area was changed. Okay. If you remember the last <laughs> video, or go back and look, our last gift, last gifting video, <laughs> Ingrid made this little fence right here, and we left those bootlaces back that were regifted to us. Well, the bootlaces were gone. <laughs> Connie found them clear over there. <laughs> <laughs> one, one was laying up there on the stump. That was cool. The other one was laying under the stump down there. So they had been moved from that tic-tac-toe board there over there. Okay. The power aid, it's still there. We're going to leave it again. The apples we left last time were gone, so we left them. Nobody one there. Nobody wants that power aid. Come one on. One there. <laughs> we left the garlic there. And the bulb of garlic down there. <laughs> so, there we go. This is the third time, third time that our, we've been regifted at this site, or second, second time at this site, once at the other site. So yeah, they like us here. Connie thinks she just had a, a viewing up there on the mountain, okay? She said uh, she thinks she saw two heads and the heads were moving. She saw shoulders. That's how thick the woods are here. And uh, it's in the same area that Ingrid and I both have seen. Have had viewings up there. So, if you see something up there that we're missing, let us know. Okay? Look at right behind us. These were all added a couple, couple months ago. Okay, we got those back there. And then if you remember right, I've showed this before. But there's an X right behind us. Look at this back here. This is busy, 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 busy. Look at back here. That looks actually new. I was just looking at that. That is new. Oh, that whole thing is new? Yeah, right up there. Ooh. That stump with that star? Okay. And it's got stripped bark in it, Connie. Yep. Okay. Stripped bark, you're right. I'm going to walk up there. So, you know, there's something what? above it, too, up the hill. Yes. Sure do. Look at this. This is neat. The camera doesn't do it justice. But look up here. Look at that stump. the arch. We've shown a lot of this before, but uh, the stump right there, that's all new. I don't, I don't remember it. 
of that right there. I was telling Connie, almost every stump over in this area is decorated. Any heads up there behind that rock? <laughs> Let us know. We're out. Stuff. All righty, folks. We're back here. We're at the third TP of the day. Connie just found this. Look at this. Yeah, that's what you've been talking about, the scrapings. It look, does that look fresh to you guys as well? That looks like it's been done within the last few months, yes. So maybe. Probably at the end of the fall. I'll put it that way. Yeah. Okay. Well, you know how you're talking. Uh, they, they chew that, and it could be good for their teeth. But you know what? I you know, And I'm thinking they're going in for the bugs, but they're going in for that delicious sap, sap. maybe as well. The sap is sugar for them. Syrup. Yeah. Well, take... You want to taste that and see how good that is? I have. Oh, taste it. Really? Is this good? Is it sweet? Yeah. Can I taste it? It tastes just like... It's not poison? No. You brought no. this across this. Y'all trying to get rid yeah. of it? Yeah. Here. <laughs> okay, I just snapped a picture with Tony's arm going through. Oh! It looked like he was punching you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to eat this. Yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to taste it. See how sweet it is? No, there's no sweetness. You know what this is? Could be cold and old. It could, it could <laughs> cold and old. No, I know what it is. They spit back and said, that's nasty. And that's what I just had Sasquatch no. spit in my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it wasn't sweet. It didn't have any taste. But okay, so usually when it's, when like it's fresh and it's dripping. Yeah. Yeah. It's nice and sweet. Wow. It's well, sweeter in the spring, I think. Well, and that's a see-through one. And that's a, no, let me try the see-through one. What if it's bird something? No. It's not bird something. Ooh. The other one was hard. This was not. See the scratches? And and down here too. Yeah. Look at this and more. You guys, I mean, okay, and it's up higher. Okay. Okay, debunk it for a bear. Let me ask you, yeah. But I'm How thinking. How would a bear get into a teepee? Look, there's some right here too. Now this is all lower, so how high does it and go? And that's a live tree. Yeah. How high does it go? I mean, I'm finding it interesting because... There's some right here. I don't think they would come in here, would they? There's some about six feet up. Why not? Would Sasquatch? a bear come in? No, no, Bigfoot, yeah. But yeah. Bear? Because no. if they built this. But a bear, would a bear come in to this? Well, a bear, in my opinion, is too big to enter any of the entries. Without knocking something. That's what I'm thinking. Something. And look at all this. Look over here. Look how much this, been's this one's been pulled off right there. I mean, look at this one's bear. Yeah. So they're sitting in here munching as they're watching around, maybe waiting for an elk to go by or something. Yeah. Is that what you think? I we mean, think. You all, that's, uh, yeah, they're not like hiding from us. No. They're hiding from the other animals out there. They're doing their own thing. see, now this one is not the, a cathedral type. No. Look but, here. No. Yeah, look how high that is. And that's uh, other tree, other trees or branches are in the way. This is one area that we showed about a month ago. Like some of these, yeah, yeah. It had bark peeled off. And it was peeled off high. Yeah, you think, okay. And, and you think maybe the antlers and stuff like that, but I mean, I don't know what they do. There's a big down chunk lower. Right here, and there's other chunks there. Mm -hmm. and yeah, it, I would say that's right. Right there. Right. What's yeah. right? Deer. Deer. Oh. Deer rub. Oh, okay. A oh, rub. Yeah. That camera you. Yeah, that's really it's cool. half cocked again. Look, whoa, 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 there. whoa, whoa, whoa. Look. Look, look, look. Can you get shots of that? Look how high that is. And that's a fresh cut up there on the top of the tree. Look how high that yeah. is. You see it? Yeah. That is a big freaking nail. So if a bear was in there, they stood up. Uh-huh. Just now, talking about that. And that is about 10 feet up. You see, yeah, up in here and all over on the other side too. Look at the big chunk on the right of it. Yeah. Now, if that tree was by itself, I would think something climbed it. But it's not, it's in the midst of all this. And those look halfway fresh to where they were Ooh. just done within the last few months. Yeah. 
or or less. Uh, Y'all probably know that better than I, but it looks pretty fresh to me. Wow. Jeez. Very cool. Okay, that is the last TP in this roll. There's another one, probably another mile down that way. And there's another one about uh, three quarters of a mile, but we gotta go back down to the main trail, which is down that way. That's the flamingo. So we're gonna cruise over to the first Bigfoot cabin over here. We're gonna drop down. Yeah. Ones and X's right there. yeah. Yeah. We'll drop down here. If if you if you want to go over there. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm good. Okay. Oh wait, that's a big climb back, isn't it? Or is there a zigzaggy? Well, back? we're gonna head down that way, I think. Okay. Do we Aren't have we? to climb back up it? Which way we want to go? We're gonna talk about our next plan. We'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're down in the elk corral area. We have not been over here for a long time. And we're hearing some noises. Ingrid just heard a, a whoop. And I just heard some stick break and back over that way. This is, we've been making a lot of noise too, let them know we're here. This is the area where I got hit with the snowball. Okay. Look at that wallow right there. You got the leaner, you got a break right there. Big, <laughs> a big wiener over there. Right. <laughs> 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 okay. Uh, look at this. Look at the two stumps that were brought in. One there, one there, and that one's decorated. And look, triple. There's triples leaning up against it. See that? For some reason, triple is important. Three means something oh, to them. Isn't that three something? Because it's a, my favorite number, and as a kid, I always wrote three, three, three. Yeah. Uh, Six. Absolutely. Even in, even in the Bible, threes are supposed to mean something spiritually. Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Yep. What's the three you're talking about? The bottom one, middle one, and top one right there. This, this, this? No. The three logs. Yeah. There's one here, one, one here, and the top one. Okay. Okay. And they're laid up? They're all laid up they're right dry. on this stump here. It always looks like somebody's building a fire or something. Doesn't it? <laughs> and that's what you do. You thread that up, but not this. Okay, the reason why I came on right now is because of the the vocals Ingrid heard and the snap that I heard. And <laughs> this right here is the area where I got hit with the snowball. It was right next to that stump, right there. I haven't seen any footprints over here yet, though. Okay. Okay, I was right here when the snowball hit me. And we looked up after I got done being freaked out. And there was no snow in the trees. Like there is no snow in the trees right now. Okay. If you look behind us, the only place that it could have came from was right over there. Well, where'd you get hit in the back of it? Right in the back. And Ingrid was right about 10 feet behind me. She was right 
about okay. there. And it was from there? Well, it would have had to come over her shoulder. Oh, oh, you were facing oh. that way. I was, we were walking, walking this way, the way we're going now. Turn around, I'll show her where it hit him. <sighs> and did you see right it? Right there. I didn't see it hit him, but when I dug the snow out, because it went right. right there. And it, so you think it came from over in here somewhere? Yeah, it couldn't have come from that way, okay? Because it dead centered. It dead centered. That little hill right there, <laughs> it, it, it wouldn't it's have hard. hit me that, that direct. Right there, it could have came through between those trees. It could have came up. He could have been hiding down in the milk trips that we just walked past down there. Mm -hmm. And he jumped up and threw it. <laughs> and managed to it. get past me and smack him or with force. He could have been right over there. He's cloaking. He could have been right here and just went poof. We're still off on the cloaking deal. I understand. I'm still. We think they have now. the power to blend in. You do? Yeah. I think they, they play with that. light. They play with light. The it. cloaking thing. I'm not there yet. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, what I what I come to with the cloaking thing is, and, and I don't know either way, but I know that I was at some event and right about maybe a little closer to where that where those trees are right there i was here it was dark we heard what sounded like two of them and that there were two grunts and they were the biggest loudest grunts ever and i thought man i got my i got my light up here on my head i'm gonna turn it on so i went i went like this turned it on nothing was there nothing moved nothing crunched nothing ran and where we all three knew where it was, nothing. What do you think about them being able to throw their voices? I, I know I've heard that. I, I think it's more. I think it's more dimensional. And if it, it, it that could be. That very well could be. I think. But if you're in an area out. like we're in now, okay. There's a seat right there. Okay, you got a hill there. You got this open area here. We got that back there. He could be actually over there, yeah. throwing his voice over yeah. this direction. I I don't know. I get that, and and you know you got to stay open to all of it, uh, and see what happens because so many different things happen where you go, man, okay, this, but it doesn't compute at all. Anyway. No. Yeah. It doesn't compute until somebody actually finds the proof and and sees it and films it. Well, we got all that. Well, I've seen films <laughs> where guys show something cloaking. Right, I've seen But that. if you look at it, we've looked at them, and it's like, I don't, it's like they're bending light or changing colors to blend in like a chameleon. Okay. Quantum, it's something we don't know yet, I yeah. think. I think it's just we, we just we don't, don't know. know it. And I don't know if it's we've been turned off from knowing that or... It's just I think we've been program. turned off. I think we've been turned off, too, because I think they're able to turn us off and on, because I know they did with me. And the Anunnaki, like I was telling you earlier, Anunnaki were training the people that were working their gold mines. They turned them off. And I, they made them sterile so that they couldn't reproduce, so they couldn't outgrow the population and take over. There you go. And so they were they were mind bent okay mind bent that's a that's an yeah. interesting way to that's an interesting phrase for that mind bent well also in the et world and abductees they're turned off and on yeah exactly same thing and they don't remember a thing when people get zapped and paralyzed the same thing exactly it happens all the time to big players all the time yeah interesting area right yeah. here and uh right over here <laughs> Yeah, all the beautiful stumps. They are. We'll head down to, uh, we got a wallow, a dark wallow down over this way, if I can find it again. Okay. And I'll show you that uh, big old boulder that is sitting up in a laid down stump. Oh, okay. Oh, I saw, I remember that. Yeah. Here. Let's see it. Because it's getting cold where we're we are. Out. Yes, it is. Let's get. <laughs> Let's move. All right, we're down the hill. All right. These are very faint, but we're, we're following an elk trail. 
okay? In my last video, I asked if Sasquatch could follow the other trails, animal trails, game trails. I don't know if you can see this or not. We're on an elk trail. More footprints, there's toes in that. And that's a big print. That's... It's hard to tell exactly yeah, how big it is. Yeah, it goes clear back to there though. See it? The heel? I want to say that's 18, 20 inches. And look at this one. Here's another one right here. Yeah, that, and it looks like the left. Where the, one looks yeah. like the right and that one looks like a left. The heel is right here. The toes are clear up there. Uh, small middle. In, uh, with my inhaler, oh, this is my tape measure. Look at, look at how deep I am in the snow over here. Amazing. You have a lot of little shit in this pocket. Too. It's a little round white tape I measure. I found it. I okay. just had to dig for all the other <laughs> shit. Okay. <laughs> Worse than my knitting bag. <laughs> okay, sweetheart, can you grab the end of that? Sure. Funny Just a they, minute. Funny when they need you. Sweetheart, baby, honey, love, love, Always. love. Always. This, this one. This one? Yeah. The heel is right here. Okay. Okay, you see it? <laughs> oh, sorry, lost. And the toe, that's 21 inches. That's what he said. Does she agree? <laughs> See the toe, big toe, twenty-one so you know inches. Why women have a hard time measuring things? It's all our lives we've been told that's eight inches. Exactly. <laughs> My ex-wife always told me that that was eighteen inches. I was happier. I was prouder than son of a bee. <laughs> uh, look at this little print. Could that be a juvenile with toes? Sinking in. Looks like it to me. It's about six inches. <laughs> <laughs> you mean like this? Yeah. <laughs> I see the game trail. This is how deep. Well, you get like four down the Look at this. This is how deep. Look at that's my wife. Look at that. Game. This is the game trail that we've been following. That's part of the trail. Okay. We believe right there is a footprint. You can't really tell. From this angle with the snow. Came up. You can see back over there where I got hit with the snowball. Toes. Yeah, you can maybe see that square. But I thought. And they measured it 21 inches. From back there where we. I started thinking these are bigger prints than elk. <laughs> They're not yeah. snowshoes. And then we get over here. And Connie and I look. Connie says, There's toes in that. Yeah. There's the toes there, and it, and it looks like a right toe. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we don't, I can't see. It's can really see hard well. to see on camera. But then you can see, here's the what looks like a left foot. See right there, and, and the toes. And then look at this little one here. Do yeah. you see toes in that? That looks more like an elk. Does friend. it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm not Debunk it for me, it. baby. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> what you talking about, Willis? <laughs> so, yes. They are following game trails. We're walking right on them. And I've been actually stepping on the bigger prints because they're packed down and you don't sink. <laughs> There's 12 inches of snow. Look at Connie's pants. Yeah. That's how much snow. She was up to her knees. That's right, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Is that another step or was That's that another you? that was me. Okay. Right there. Right. But they're going down. Look at the size of this one. There's another one. About the same size. Now everybody's going to hear me going, Ugh. I'm 
21 inches, the same size. And that one's that one's actually a little better because you can, yeah, you can see the shadows. Let me move out of the way. Look at that one. Look at that one. They're there's, so close there's together, an, though. You know, normally that's not the case. We right? got there's 12 inches of snow, though. If you watch Paul Graves' videos, they're actually closer together when he's tramping through the trees. And the high snows. Yeah. Huh. Maybe he's oh, you not walking to get somewhere. Maybe he's like, you know, he's spooking around the trees. And, and little, if yeah. you look. I just walked in his feet. There's, there's drag marks off to the side. Could he be carrying dinner home? That is like a little tail. But there's. Whatever it is, there's always a Look mark, at this. and then there's a drag. You don't think that's a... You, oh, let me, okay, let me try something here. Stick, drag my stick, stick. That's a dragon, somebody's dragging stick. You know what that is? Somebody cross country and, or, and they got two sticks. Ski poles. Ski poles. That's exactly what That's that exactly is. That's exactly what that is. Yeah. There we go. All right. Debunked. 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 Good job, Connie. Yeah, Those are still <laughs> Sasquatch footprints, though. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my video's shooting the other way. Darn it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the worst of all things. <laughs> Cross countryers don't leave toe prints. Yeah. I see people prints in here, other than yours. People don't have 21 inch yeah, that's, uh, foot. That's, uh, things are doing. That's there we go, now we know. Okay, look at this wallow over here. Look at that dark wallow. What's a wallow? It's a fenced off area that they sit in and eat okay. or just just veg out okay okay a wallow wallow a clean one will be a perch or a seat a wallow like this see how cluttered and dirty it is that tells me we think that that is a rogue he doesn't have wife doesn't have to keep nothing clean bachelor yeah Whoa, big that's what you mean by rogue big rogue bachelor i got gotcha. you <laughs> he could be older he could have been kicked out of the clan yeah uh he could be a teenager rebelling yeah could be just yeah. some man being a man I'm gonna be a mountain dude i'm gonna go out there and live off the grid of the exactly rest of the exactly <laughs> now on this one here i'm gonna walk over Sick. here <laughs> i'm gonna show you why Look at the leaners, okay? Look at the X, okay? Yep. See all the leaners up in the tree that come right down? Another thing, this tree comes down, okay? Touches that one, that one over there comes over, touches that one, that one goes over there, touches that one, and then it goes off that way. Sweetheart, I think we got to go this way. I think the teepee's down this way. Are you following your gut? I'm following something. You're following Sasquatch. Follow her gut. Let's, let's take her gut. Okay. Yeah, there's the valley where the teepee is. Is it? Yeah. Sounds like a movie. But... You're feeling that way. Let's go that way. Yeah, you see how that's all fenced off back there, Connie, that wallow? They do that, and they'll sit in there and hide. They're totally protected in that wallow from being seen. That's getting into the dark area. Yeah, this is the dark area. We don't want to go to the dark side. What's the dark area? 
where you feel the scary? That is where we got, we got corralled in. And we couldn't figure out how to get out of it. And got a bad feeling. How you get in? <laughs> and then got told we shouldn't go back there because it was a bad place. And you know, that's where we always got to be careful where it could be, hey, there's no way to back here, so we're going to tell you it's a bad place. You know, they, can, they use fear to keep yeah. us out of their spots. Well, because it works. If they don't want us that's there, that's what we do to some animal too. <laughs> Well, see, another thing that leads us to it is look to, uh, down there. The trail is blocked off with the big trees. Yeah, that's, triples. That's from them, man. Yeah. Oh, we got to at least go to there. Got to at least go to that. <laughs> <laughs> so I can get this video back from you too, right? Yeah. We'll we'll have it on. Yeah, we got to go to there. Look at that. Well, we I gotta I gotta check that out because it looks it looks designed. <laughs> Doesn't it? Doesn't yeah, well, it? everything in this area right here is designed. Look at this, how these triples. Oh, yeah. Look at these trees laid in here. Yeah. Look at this leaner. And it did not come from here because I can pull that right out of the ground down there. Look at this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I'll stay back here to run for help. Okay, well, yeah. Notice if I disappear or kind of fade in close or what? We're going to walk down to where the trail's blocked by the triple trees down here. It's always interesting that there are these types of things. They're like roadblocks, and you think that people do them. But you later find out when it happens so often that it may be Bigfoot. That came from over there. Oh, and that, that's water? No, that's the, the wind. Really? Yeah. Those are called tree singers. Oh. When the trees in the wind rub against each other yeah. and make that kind of watery sound or a squeal, it's a tree singer. Yeah, see how they blocked the trail? That person across the country was right on through there. Oh, I know right where we're at. Look at the rock, right? This is the teepee wall. Oh, okay. Yep. Right in here, Connie. Oh, what's, what is it? A teepee wall. Oh, look at this. Oh. Is this what you think? Yeah. Oh, yeah, we were right in the middle of this one. Okay, so. Remember when I looked at that one, I said, look, it looks like hooves or something going in. That's that hole. <laughs> so amazing when you know, right? Yeah, this is. Uh, he sits in here yeah. and eats. He's got leaners. I've, mo I've uh, mentioned this before, same place. Look at the stump, the leaner on the stump. That tree over there comes down, touches that tree, that tree comes down, touches that tree, that tree comes over there, that tree touches that tree, goes back over there, starts all over again, and then this starts right here. Okay? We got all these leaners. <laughs> right here all pushed over and they're forked a lot of these are forked at the top and that's what's holding them in look how high the bark is stripped off up there Connie. and squirrels don't do that right no i've never seen a squirrel peel bark like <laughs> I'm that. Just saying. look at the bark <laughs> peeled on that tree back there yeah i mean it's uh... This is a big boy. It is. Look at that one too. Yeah. Colorado native calls this a witchy area. Really? Yeah. And we would call it Squatchy. Yeah, and that's why I call it a rogue area.
He's got all these trails blocked. They are deterrents for sure. A lot of times when we do see them on uh, in parks, um, you do think the park ranger or somebody does set it up, but a lot of times that's not it. I know that in other areas, people said they would just move the log and go back there and it was the most unbelievable stuff they would ever have happen. However, it could be people doing it because I do believe they do know where these hotspot areas are. I believe they, they do too. From, from but being away. And I mean the humans, I think humans know and do that. Oh, yeah, yeah. To keep us, hey, stay away from there. We know there's something weird back that way. But could a human yeah. do that? Oh no, I get you, I get you. That big tree there, Yeah. push that over. That big tree over there, push that over. And you know, you've been to parks where um, there's a, there's an old, old road or something, and there's this big log, and you're like, oh, somebody did that to yeah. not go back to somebody's yeah. driveway or something. And and that could be the case, but sometimes when you go back, it's not that there's somebody's house there. There's just some weird things going yeah. on. So those are the ones you want to go back. Exactly. To. Especially in the evening to see the... Uh... Oh, yeah, all that. Look at the bark all peeled off and just mm -hmm. laying. See that? Mm -hmm. Now, another theory that I got too mm. on these leaners like this that they push over, mm. a lot of times this is fairly fresh. Okay, this is probably last year. But if you look at, say, like that one over there, there's no branches on the very top and there's barely any bark on the top. Mm -hmm. Junior crawls use those to climb up the trees. What do? Junior Sasquatch. Oh, Junior. You think, oh, and then it falls down on because of the weight? Yeah. You think it yeah, just well, planned, maybe? They, they, the, maybe, maybe Pop or Mom yeah. push it over. Yeah. Junior goes up, takes all the branches off, and you can see the rub marks. There's no uh, uh, bark on the top. There may be bark on the bottom, none on the top. I tell you, it's fun to theorize all this stuff, but you know what? In the middle of the night when you do hear these trees fall, you know, do they just fall, or is it because what you're talking about? Does anybody hear them when they fall? That's if right. nobody's, since nobody's around? If a mime goes into the woods <laughs> and a tree falls on it and kills it, does anybody care? <laughs> <laughs> no, they don't. <laughs> Darn mimes. Okay, sorry for jumping around like this, but... That's our hill, dear. Grandma and Grandpa spot up there. Somebody or something colored the snow. Yeah, y'all better stick together. Y'all, you meet someone else and say, hey, Grandma and Grandpa's up there. I think they might shoot y'all in the woods and leave you <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. We filmed that from the top. Oh, cool. We've, we've never been down this far. Uh, that wallow right there was as far as we went, and then we cut over. Oh, cool. I love when people So this right here is brand new area. We filmed this from the top, if I believe, if I remember. tiny pinpointer uh, detector. Oh, <laughs> you know? Connie's mining for gold. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right, I'm out. <laughs> I'm going to go mine for gold. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, look at that witchy star up there. The wind started up a little bit over here. Uh, Connie went over there. She's checking some tracks out. But I just heard a real loud whistle and a break came from this way over here. And then Ingrid and I both heard a screech. There was another break. There's something. something Down there, there. Something's over there. There's a lot of life out here. It's great. It's alive. Uh-huh. If you see anything over there, let us know. That down there where I'm shining right now is basically in the direction where we just measured those footprints, 21 inches. the big X there, over to your right, to your right, to your right, to your right, keep it on, yeah, see the X is to the right, right here, yeah, and that star right in front of you, okay, and this right here, yeah, did you get that, yeah, have you all seen this one before, no, that one like. directly in front of you, I like this was new to you, this is, X and the star as you guys, yeah, See, and this is where I just heard the whistle coming from this area, this direction. Look at this. Whoa. Yeah. See, so we've been up there on top of that little hill in front of you. Yeah. That's, that's where we found uh, the elk skull and vertebrae last time. But this... This area right here? No, we haven't seen any of this. If this were a fell, this would have broke. <laughs> it's uh, another entwined one. Yeah, and then look at the the parallel back behind that got laid in between those two. Yeah. On a forks little nesty. That one. The double layer leaners. Double. Of course, that one right there you already got, but I think it's still interesting to get them from all sides. Look, Look at that. that up there. Look at that hanger. <laughs> That's a, a, a hanger. They're like airborne, yeah. you Somebody's talking over there. Did you hear that? No. I heard that. Yeah, I heard voices on the other side over there. Uh, our teepee's just down in the bottom of this valley. Oh. Supposed to be. They know we're here. Yeah. We've been hearing stuff since we got over here. Okay, let's go down here. Cause look at this. I haven't seen this either. Right. 
I'm gonna keep this on until the battery dies. It's almost gone, but look at this. Never seen that before. Uh oh. What? Oh. Huh. That's not the same one, is no, it? No, it's not. Connie. Is that the wind thing? No. You don't hear it? This is something we see. <laughs> something we see. This is not the one that I filmed before. Oh, I oh, just yeah. tripped over a tree there. I'm hearing the winds whisper and talk to Look at this. You see this thing? Yeah. Look at the rock. Look behind it. Is that a new one? Yeah. yeah. Wow. This is not the same one. You know, I think you need to leave behind some of your knitted stuff. I think they'd be impressed. Connie's talking about <laughs> I'm this. I'm serious. Look. See how it comes down? Broke, totally broken Broke. there. And then on the other side, it's weaved in. Threaded in. Comes down over to there. Everything else. Okay. Maybe. Now, look behind me. <laughs> That's cool. This isn't as big as the rock that I filmed <laughs> in that dark wallow. This is totally different. That was placed there. <laughs> that is, okay, now, can you pull still shots out of your video? She's got uh, the still camera right there. I don't know if mine's, maybe, maybe mine's there. Well, because I just want to get some stills of that. And you can see that one as well, threaded up to the yeah. little ones up there to the tip top. All the way, all around you. You're in the middle of this one. Look at this decorated stump. Pockets. This is awesome. It is. The last rock that I photographed that was laid in like that was twice as big as that. Okay, let me get the, give me that camera, sweetheart. I'm gonna get some stills of this. I'll be back. And down the trail again. I'm not gonna measure it. Look how big that is. Yeah, at one point it just gets you like, all you're doing is measuring this and that. It's like, you know. I Looks like a heel on toe, but the wind's blowing the snow, filled it in. And then look over there. Those are about five feet apart. Yeah. Look at that. Starts up there. And here, I'll show you my foot. Oh, jeez. Wow. Look how deep I'm that's, in, too. Yeah. yeah. Look how deep I am. And here's my foot. Look at that. And this is a shoe that's bigger than me. <laughs> yes. Those. Snow baby. <laughs> <laughs> and that width, yeah. And they oh, come right down. There's a there's a, a blind in there. Ruin that. It starts right up there. There's one, two, three, four right onto the main trail. Look how deep that is. It's deep. Yeah, those are about five feet apart. Yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah, and the snow's probably, Look at this. what, eight, 18 inches of snow? So it came, it hit the main trail. It came down the main trail. Oh man. Look at this. Follow this. Look at this. Boom. Boom. There. Holy there. Cow. There. You can almost see the toes here. It's the size of me. Okay, a lot of that's distorted with the snow and the wind. Right. And look, it goes straight down this way into the bare spot. You see it? Oh, sorry. No, I got it. Right over there into the bear area. 
and right up the side of that hill. Big stride, single, big holes. About five feet apart. That's cool. That that that's legit, I think. And look at that. What else would make that? You can't say it's not that far apart. And if, if you couldn't say snowshoe, because if you lifted it up, it would be totally Look over dragging. There. Look over there. Oh, my gosh. Okay, I'm going to walk this over. This is a family. Holy cow. There's two more trails over there. <laughs> they, oh, my gosh. Okay. I hate to step on these, but you did get them. Oh, this is about 18 inches of snow. Look at this. <laughs> Connie's going to disappear. I know it. I'm going to die when I get in the morning. <laughs> you all look at that. Now, are they side by side? Or you don't think it's anything else, do you? I mean. If those were the old type of harp, harp snowshoes, they'd be dragging and they'd be clothed about a foot apart. Yeah, these, snowshoe prints are not that far these, apart. these are literally five feet apart okay yeah. the footsteps look and look it comes comes up from the main trail right under that tree that one over there that we just showed looked over two more sets coming right here okay take a look at this digging out here like i'm digging out the soft stuff that's went on it heel mark heel hook I don't know if I'll get toe, but... Wow. I mean, I don't know, <laughs> but... And they disappear right up into there. Right up into that tree and up the side of the hill. That would that be a toe? <laughs> no. Whoa. It's a little, little rigged in there. <laughs> Well, you all see it. Wow. Oh Are my. you sitting in the snow? I'm sitting in the snow. <laughs> in Colorado. <laughs> I said she was going to step into a, a drift and disappear. <laughs> Hit me. <laughs> no, I'm good. <laughs> she even broke her walking stick. I'm kayaking in the snow in Colorado. <laughs> <laughs> There's monsters in these freaking hills, man. What are I we think doing? I here? just fell in love with you. Uh, <laughs> and my battery just died, so we got all that. Ta-da! Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm out. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, new battery in. I sure hope we got everything just now. So we just found three three trackways that were huge. Because it, it was like even that, you know. I don't know, but you know what? You, you see what direction they're headed? They're headed, there. they're headed into the witchy area, uh, the rogue area. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. It's getting a little chilly. Yeah. Yep. We're gonna head out. If we find anything else, I'll come back on. See ya. And then hey! You your head just right, and it looks like We're up the trail again. Over there, but it's just a tree. Found another Bigfoot cabin that we don't Where remember ever seeing. Gosh! And it's down in a hole. It's not moving. Down in a valley. Okay, we're on the way back to the car. Cause this is starting to get windy. It's starting to get chilly. Our pants are frozen solid. Chilly. Mmm, and we're starting to be hungry. Chilly. Chilly. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good. We're down on level one. We've talked about level one before. Uh, you can see how far we are from the side of the mountain. Okay. If we find anything else, we'll come back. <laughs> see ya. Oh, right. All right, everybody. We're back at the car. Okay. 
You can see all the structures that are right behind the vehicle. This is so cool. Look at the, the parallels up there. The X right there behind the car. That's maybe 50 feet away. This whole hillside. Okay. So I hope you, uh, hope you like this video. Hope you saw stuff that we didn't see. And if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe. Any comments are welcome. And that's Sasquatch's journey. And you're going to Tony going at it. <laughs> Thanks, you guys. And the evil laugh. <laughs> that's not an evil it's laugh. Evil. That's a goofy laugh. Yo, it's evil. <laughs> Every time something bad happened where it would probably look like it would have hurt somebody, she's like, yeah. <laughs> that's it, that's it. Yeah, hers is. <laughs> hey, thanks you guys for bringing me. Thanks for watch. coming. Thank you. For Blue Rock Talk out. Y'all got to do your little Blue Rocker sign. Can you do it? All right, look at that. <laughs> I love it. All right. <laughs> we'll see you later. Goodbye.